Hello everyone, welcome to the Global Researcher Club Educational Video. It was used by Dr. Alcin Gabriel, one of the Global Researcher Club Educational Team. Here we are going to talk about how to use Royan. First of all, Royan is a software designed for uh, researchers to help them in screening process and in data extraction for systematic review and meta analysis. This video will discuss how to use Royan and uh, how to go through it. First of all, Ryan, you can use it by searching Ryan.ai as Ryan depends on artificial intelligence. You can sign in if you have an account or you can get started. To sign up on Ryan, you need just put your email and select your country and confirm that you are not a robot, then create an account. A message will be sent to your account, so simply you can go to your account with a temporary email and use it. Yeah, here is a here is a message. And here is I press on the link, send to my send to my mail, and he will tell you to set on the password. And first name GRC. Confirm an account. Continue as free. Here is the first time you open Ryan and it will tell you to complete your profile if you didn't complete it. So you can just go to your account to put your name and title, organization, uh, your affiliation, and so on. But let's talk for the dashboard. This is the dashboard how it looks. First one is my reviews. This is for any reviews you create. And you can simply just start a new review and uh, let's say it like influenza. And monkey box as uh, just an example. And search for missing human review type. There is many review. You can choose if it's school review, rapid review, umbrella literature review, systematic review. And the domain is biomedical. And here you can just write a description for your team what the review is related about. <laughs> then you press create. This is the next step here in, in, in this station. You need to in, insert your files, and there are many extensions for your file you can put in it. But I prefer the extension RIS. You can simply export your data from EndNote or Mendeley in RIS extension. You can drag it here or just press select files and select your files. Select two files and open. And or you, you can just drag it and put it here. After loading the files, we have two files here, review one, review two, and I use these waves as I separate the work between my team. So two of my team work on review one and other two work on review two. When you press continue here, Ryan is loading files. There's me, so it's file number one. 500 people. Deselect, select 595 people. But the total is 1130. This is how Ryan looks from inside. This is your workspace in Ryan. Here are all your papers. You insert it, just press on it, and it appears down the title and abstract, author, and all other info. You can drag this here or drag it up as much as you want. You press on a, on, on a paper and you read it. If you think it's uh, profile your inclusion criteria, you can press include. If you don't think so, you can press exclude. If you are confused, you can press maybe. And you can put a reason on, on why you exclude uh, the paper or include. Okay, Or you can put a label. For example, this, this is uh, an RST, and you can put the label this is an RST. And that's that, because you know why you exclude or include a paper, or you can put a note for the rest of the team, okay? And you can upload here a PDF for this paper, uh, for the full text. Okay. The other way to to go through screening is using arrows. So arrow down, if you press here, arrow down, go down, up, go up, and you can press 
E and keyboard exclude or I to include and you can press shift and arrow down to select more than a paper then you make a, a decision of them exclude or include okay in, in dashboard here up there you can detect extend the duplicates artificial intelligence and detect the duplicates depending on a percentage how much this paper is similar to this 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 is how uh, Ryan detect duplicates so go show it manually because you never trust artificial intelligence okay you detect duplicates and Ryan detected it already possible duplicates unresolved there is 174 duplicates I press duplicates so Ryan show me duplicates it appear a tab here resolve duplicates when you press and resolve duplicate it will get you the two duplicates press one here characteristic of the teller tendon reflux and cerebral palsy children usually motion analysis other one it's almost the same title the same title and it also is the same abstract but I, to, I will choose this one because it has a new url and i will press remove then I, I can give a decision in this one include or exclude after giving a decision in this duplicates it appear here in one resolve it one delete it okay this is how we detect duplicates another thing is compute ratings rating is another way of artificial intelligence uh, after you make some de decisions in paper it, it will give a rating how much this paper is likely to be included or excluded the rating will be here like in a star if you want to add a new file the search method you can just press add one and you will add a new file for it. let's go to navigators on the list here are your navigators uh, I make detect duplicates, so here is our all duplicates in your paper. It's possible duplicates, not one hundred percent. Inclusion decision. This will tell you uh, the status of your uh, screening. Number of undecided, number maybe, number included, number excluded. Okay, and you can press on any of it and make export. This search method, all files in your paper. When I press in one, it's selected. Okay. And when I press in two, there are two selected. But if I want to select one only, I will press on this another time. So it will be deselected. Another step is uh, keywords to include and keywords for exclude. Here, uh, you can uh, add any keywords to include in your papers. So I will add, for example, monkey box. I want to include papers that discuss monkey box. So if I press a monkey box here, it will show up all papers that include monkey box keywords. Keywords for exclude, like animals and veto. Or, or I want to exclude um, complications. I want to exclude papers that discuss complications. So here are papers that discuss complications. I can just press execute. Okay. How to use keywords in your search. If you are one of teams that needs to work on one of you, like my task is review this uh, reference, reference number two, review two. So he will show up all, all reference number two. I can also select a keyword here, monkeypox. So he will, he will select all papers that include monkeypox and reference number two. In addition, complication. So show me all papers that include complications and monkeypox uh, reference number two. And this is how you go through your paper. And at the end, when you get all your paper included, you just clear all your keywords here. These are all five papers that you included. You just go to export here and select the extension you need and just press export. Then Ryan will send you an a file, the file on your email, you can download it from there. To invite new people, you find your work here, there's influenza and monkeypox, and you just press invite. A collaborator type of inviter is a collaborator, he can do anything in your paper except deleting your search methods. Okay, 
unless it's uh, created from him. And reviewer, he, he will just incorporate it in inclusion and exclusion and maybe uh, and adding reasons. And just you can put an email here, try and email.com, and you can add someone else just start to put like this space and add another email try to and gmail.com and you need a better reason please review my paper it's blah 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 then invite and invitation link will be sent to him okay there is reviewer number one this is reviewer number one Reviewer number two and tell you tell you how sessions he spent on Ryan, how minutes he spent, the progress if he included or excluded some papers. And here is a blind mood on that means each one of us can't see what the other one decided. Okay, and that's a control bias in your work. But if, if you put it off, you can see the decision of other of other reviewers and that will be useful when there is a conflict when you get an invitation you'll find the paper here and just press on it and press show to start working on and that's it our session today thank you everyone for attending the session today follow us everywhere on the global researcher club on facebook and linkedin and on instagram and join our chat group and be aware we always make workshops and webinars for medical research education thank you